Hey y'all, I wanted to come on here real fast and talk about something while I wrap my hair. Um, this is something that I don't see a lot of videos on at all and I don't see a lot of people talk about at all. But when I see a few comments under other videos or other pictures about it, I always kind of jump in because it's something that I struggled with um, probably a few years ago. And that's crown damage. People never talk about crown damage. I don't know how you get crown damage. I think for everybody is different. Um, but it's never talked about. I never see people like do videos on it or talk about it at all. And I had crown damage probably right after high school. So, um, I would say probably like 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. But for me, it was different. Some people, I think it could be how they style in their hair. But for me, I don't know what it was. It just was a nerve at the top of my head where when I pulled on my hair, it just felt really good. So I would literally just pull my hair out. Like I would sit and just dig into my head and pull my hair out. And I don't know why. It just felt good. I think it's from years of having my hair braided probably too tight right here. Like too much tension where this part of my scalp feels like a different kind of sensation. Where it just kind of tingles. Where I just wanted to rip it out at. And I don't suffer from it anymore. And when I see people talk about it, I just kind of give them the tips that I did with it. And I just left it alone. I just left my crown all the way alone. But what it used to look like was, let me see if I can pull some up right here. I mean, I still have the feeling. I still have this feeling right up in here where if I touch it, it just kind of like, ugh, my eyes going to roll back in my head. But what it used to look like was, <clears throat> see how the hair looks like that? It used to look like this. It used to look like that. Like all this was short and broke off and I would just like pull at it and rip at it. It was almost like a little bird nest and I would just pull my hair out, pull my hair out. And just sit and like dig and like yank my hair out to where it was super hollow. And only like a few hairs met the top and it was all broke off and short like that. And um, what I did was I got tired of it. I think one day I was trying to do a style and it was like so short and broke off that the style, like the braids was like real thin at the end like it was like a big old fat braid and it got real thin and sparse because it was all ripped off at the ends and what I did was I cut it all off I pulled it up to where it was all like thick at and just cut it chopped it really really short it was like a little fat pouch and I just left it alone um I stopped pulling on it I had to literally tell myself every time I got the urge like when I was bored or watching a movie or something I would just want to sit and it was like almost like a habit or I would just like some people just pull on something I would just like pull my hair out and it, it wouldn't bother me it would not hurt at all it was the opposite it, it felt good <laughs> but I had to keep telling myself stop like stop pulling at your hair leave it alone so I cut it off and I left it alone um it was really dry at the top of my head I guess because it's the top of your head it gets dry uh a lot faster than the other perimeters of your head I guess like the sides and the back and stuff doesn't get as dry as fast so I just oiled it I put a thicker conditioner on it like when I would condition my hair or moisturize my hair I made sure with my um crown I put like a butter you know more oil than I did the other part of my hair just kind of gave it extra TLC where I noticed it started to soften up and I just let it on I didn't pull it out I didn't have like damage to where it was like ripped out or, or broke off from like a style I was literally um pulling my own hair out so when I see people post about it on on Instagram or, or YouTube or anything they're always like oh you know I, I didn't know other people suffer from it I thought I was the only person because I would pull it out but when I hear other girls talk about like it just being damaged the same way, like really choppy in the middle, I don't know. Maybe it's your styles. I would say change your styles up. Don't put too much tension in it at the top of your head. If you do a lot of styles where you know you're yanking at that part of your head, I would say stop. Give it a break. Leave it alone. Um, so after it starts to grow back and it softens back up, I just leave it alone. I don't pull at it no more. I get the urge to like when I'm bored sitting around, but I don't. It's not worth it. It's not worth having that little bird nest at the top of my head. And it still feels, like I said, it still feels like if I start to pull at it, it was, you know, it would get like that. It would feel good. But I just, just leave it alone. That's all I can tell you guys is just leave it alone. If you get any kind of crown damage, don't mess with it. Or any damage anywhere. If your hair starts to break off anywhere, my best advice to you is 
leave it alone. You know, don't pull your hair out. Don't do nothing. If it's if it's like how mine was where it was constantly sparse from, you know, yanking at it like that. You know, cut it off and start over. And I'm glad it was where it was at. It wasn't like in the front or the back where it like made a a big impact for me. Like being bald, it was like right there. And I could just hide it in my braids or any style I had. I could just easily tuck it away. So... That's my advice. If you go through anything like that with your hair, leave it alone. But thanks, you guys. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Support your channel. If you guys need any more advice on anything else, just please feel free to, you know, ask, comment. Whatever I've been through or whatever I experienced, I definitely will give you guys my advice on it and my honest opinion on it. That's why I'm here. I don't want to give you guys just videos of me doing my hair. I want you guys to actually learn something from my videos and learn from my mistakes so y'all don't do the same thing I did. But thanks you guys for all the support.